The first 2020 Highlanders are just starting to trickle in. So today we wanted to give you guys a kind of impromptu 2019 and 2020 comparison until we can bring you guys a full review of one with hopefully a little bit more equipment than this 2020 L. So without further delay, let's go ahead and see the biggest changes with this all new generation of the Highlander. So as far as the styling is concerned, at first glance the changes seem pretty evolutionary, but at the same time there is still plenty to identify this as an all new model. Whereas the RAV4 adopted a more rugged appearance, the new Highlander has actually gone for a less angular look. Best seen in the grille, where the large triangle has been replaced with a small trapezoid and subtle chrome accent. Another big change is that the 2020 Highlander includes LED headlights on every single trim, which is something that wasn't even available on the old one at all, regardless of price. As far as the side and rear, the same thing applies. The front pillar has been blacked out, and the body has been smoothed to make it look wider, especially in the taillights. Most of the unit is LED just like last year, and the exhaust pipes are also still hidden. The wheels are also worth mentioning, since the L's 18-inch alloys have basically the same design as the Platinum's last year, and the higher trims get 1-inch larger wheels for 2020, now topping out at 20-inch alloys. As far as some non-visual stuff that's still important, the standard safety sense features have been updated this year to version 2.0. That means lane trace assist and roadside detection have been added onto the standard automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, full speed adaptive cruise control, and auto high beam headlights. Alright, so now let's go ahead and check out the new interiors. When you first open the doors, you'll realize that the design changes are again more evolutionary than revolutionary. That being said, the 2020 certainly looks more upscale and high-tech, which is saying something considering it is the lowest trim available. And as far as the materials, the 2020 is also upgraded even on the lower end trims like this L. Just like the Platinum from last year, there is soft touch plastic with stitching across all of the upper areas. And new for 2020 is a leatherette material going through the middle. Another big part is interior storage, which is almost exactly the same as last year. The center console is the exact same part, I think, and there is still front storage and the storage shelf. The shifter is pretty much the same, but the camera resolution has been upgraded for 2020, and all models now have an electronic parking brake. Moving up the dash to the climate controls, they have adopted a more upscale design this year, as has the display. Even the standard display is now 8 inches, and has a much higher resolution for 2020 than the Platinum's in 2019. And this isn't even the optional 12.3 inch display, which looks like it's straight from a Lexus product. As far as the second and third rows, both have been upsized this year, especially the second row which is up about 2 inches. The seats do continue to slide and recline. The features though are going to be pretty much the same, with charging USBs that are now standard even on the base model. And as far as cargo capacity, it has grown with the seats in all configurations. Now under the hoods, not much has changed at all. The engine, which is a 3.5 liter V6, carries over from last year, still making 295 horsepower and 263 pound-feet of torque. The transmission continues to be an 8-speed automatic as well. However, with all-wheel drive, fuel economy ratings still manage to gain 1 MPG, now rated at 20 city, 27 highway, 23 combined. And finally, let's end things with a quick pricing comparison. 
As expected, prices have increased this year, but not unreasonably so. So anyways guys, that's it for this quick comparison of what's new with the 2020 Toyota Highlander. Of course, expect to see a detailed full review of the all new Highlander coming as soon as possible, as well as some detailed comparisons against some of its biggest rivals. See you next time, and take care.